y'all already know what the fuck going on, man. It's Rise DPK, and you tuned in to GP Media. You know what I'm talking about? There, right? Little mama like the way I talk my slang. Other way I do my thing. Mad about a thousand, I can walk all my. All white drip cocaine. VVA damn yeah, the drip insane. I just got a brand new chain. All right, I'm sitting down with Rise DPK. Uh, tell us a little bit, man. Where the, where the name come from? Um. When I when I had started rapping, I mean, you know, playing around and shit, you know what I'm saying? My big brother's head got locked up in '98. They caught a um a drug charge and shit. And at the time, you know what I'm saying, my other big brother who was still out here with me, they called Tim Shine. So um every morning, you know what I'm saying, the CEOs used to um be like rise and shine, you feel what I'm saying? Rise and shine. So so my big brother won, you know what I'm saying? He called me one day out the blue and was like, he was like, your name Rise, your rap name Rise. And he, he explained the significance behind it and that's how I got the name Rise and I just added a project kid because, you know, I'm from Happy Hill Gardens, born and raised. So that's the story behind how I got my name Rise, you feel me? Okay, okay, okay. What's some of the producers you working with? Yeah, man, when I started out, you know what I'm saying, I started out with Roberto Williamson with the fam aspect, you know what I'm saying, shout out to Berto. Then I moved on from Birdo to um, Ski Beats. For those who know Ski Beats, man, he did a, a couple classic records, man. He did um, Lucini by Camp Low. He did um, Reasonable Doubt, um, Feeling It in Dead Presidents for Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Ski Beats. Then um, I had took a break, you know what I'm saying? Then I got introduced to these um, kids, and they was in the basement at the time, you feel me? And them kids turned out to be Chop House. Shout out to Smiley and Jay, Dooney, you know what I'm saying, BK, them boys, you know what I'm saying. I, I met them in the basement, got them started working with them, turned them on everybody, started spreading the word about how dope and hot they was and shit. And it just went from there, you know what I'm saying, turned everybody on to them and, and everything is history with them. Then I started messing with So Amazing, you know what I'm saying. I met him, his name was Pat Beeks. I changed his name to So Amazing because the growth. I kept pushing them every day, every day, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you got it. You you got them. You got what it take. I can I can hear it just, you know what I'm saying? So when he came back with a CD, I was like, boy, your name's so amazing. Then, got them, I got introduced to motherfucking Ace Boogie. You know what I'm saying? Ace the Beat Man. Got them, which was a, a blessing for me because I pretty much was done with the shit. I was like, man, I'm fit to get this shit up. But he motivated and... and um. He motivated me to the utmost, man, to keep on doing this shit, man, because he was smacking shit. He was bringing that flavor. I was like, boy, I can't stop. I got to fuck with that nigga. And that's, that's what's up, man. Shout out to all the producers, man. Even everybody who's doing beats in the tray. Y'all already know what the fuck going on, man. So I see I see you with the um Trap Going Fool hat. What's that? Oh, yeah. um Trap Going Fool is a single I got out. Um, Produced by Chop House. You know what I'm saying? Smiley and Jay, what up? Just, you know what I'm saying, a, a street anthem for everybody, you know what I'm saying, who out here, you know what I'm saying, with unfortunate circumstances, you know what I'm saying. Those who already got felonies that grew up on the, on, the, on the side of town to where it was less fortunate and niggas had to carry guns that caught felonies early like, like I did and, you know what I'm saying, couldn't get no job. So they, they, they only situation was the trap, you feel what I'm saying, so... And that like, was a that was an anthem for them. Right, the inspiration came from that. Just you know what I'm saying, a part of my story in life that I was like, man, trap going fool, man. Like, cause I know it's a lot of people that's motivated by the trap that's out here trapping. So you know what I'm saying, I inspire them the way I can, man. Ain't not saying it's a good thing or a good way to inspire somebody, but it's life. It's the life we live in. You feel what I'm saying? So I can't knock it. You know what I'm saying, trap going fool. Go get that right now. Okay, so that's one of your singles. Um, what 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 single you got out now that's that's kind of rocking out here? Um, talk my slang. I I dropped it on January the thirteenth. You feel what I'm saying? And the feedback from the city is astronomical, man. I mean, like I know where everybody be like, boy, it's hate of Salem. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers in Winston Salem hate so goddamn much. You did did da da da. You know all the. Yeah, been a yeah, but honestly, man, Winston Salem really been showing me love. Um, it's featuring my man Jimmy Street, Solid Camo. My man been working. Shout out to Jimmy Street. Um, produced by my producer Ace the Beat Man. Shout out Ace the Beat Man. Y'all already know what the fuck going on. He working too, man. Y'all tap in, man. But the love I been getting on the record and the love I got on the vlog and everything is just 
it's it's amazing, man. I got over 200 Shazams and 102 just dropped it, and they got me in rotation in the mid show, and you know it's growing, man. Soon I'll be in rotation on regular radio, man, and I appreciate everybody's support, man. Like this shit for the city, man. This shit, this shit ain't about me. This shit bigger than me. This shit for the city, man. You feel me? Let's get it. Okay, I heard you say this for the city, man. So, um, uh, like, what's your goals to accomplish, like, with this whole music? Like, is it for the city or is it for your team? Like, what's I mean, your goals? The goals is for the city, the team, and just for me and my family. Period. Like, to to really accomplish something and become a songwriter for others. Like, that's like my specialty. Like, ain't me feeling how I feel. I feel like it ain't nobody that I can't write for. I don't care who you is, like, I got the mindset to write you a hit. You feel what I'm saying? And, I mean, it's a lot of people out here that's that's doing what they doing. They got the appearance, they got they got the bag, they got everything, but they ain't got the music. You feel what I'm saying? Like, man, I'm here for it. You feel me? Like, I promise you I'm giving out hits. Like, if only I can get a chance. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's my dream. That's always been my dream. Let me pin some shit for you. Ain't nobody got to know. You feel what I'm saying? Goddamn, we can keep this shit... On the confidentiality agreement and that thing, you feel me? I just know I would give your ass a hit. You will be out of here. Got them fuck with me. You yeah, a lot, me? a lot of people don't understand that end of the business, man. There's a lot of people out here who have um, got writers and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, because at the end of the day, like, when you a big star like that, you ain't really got time to kill a studio as much. You know what I'm saying? You're doing show back to back to back. You know what I'm saying? So what, what artists is doing is they getting up with the best songwriters and hearing they ideas and they adding on to it which ain't a bad thing you feel what i'm saying so fuck with me man like tap in man let me got them pin some shit for you i'm only giving out hits and y'all know the hook game crazy so it is what it is yeah speaking of hook game man i know you um had posted up on facebook talking about you was gonna do a project and you was gonna do all the hooks on the songs and throw other artists on the verses right man. right and, and that's that's how i feel the city should be unified. Like, I already know some north side niggas don't fuck with some south side niggas, some east side niggas don't fuck with some north side niggas, and so on. You know, that's that's just, that's that's a mind game. That's like the, 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 the mind thing that, you know what I'm saying, we always been against one another. You feel what I'm saying? When I feel like ain't nobody in Winston accomplished anything, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like Winston-Salem is just Winston-Salem. I don't care if you're in front of north, east, west, or the south. Like, I feel like I can hopefully combine some people that want to spread their talents on this mixtape and work with others that they don't even know, people they don't even know they're working with. But hopefully I can link up a south side nigga with a north side nigga and they grow and get their fan base from the north and they get their fan base from the south. Or you get their fan base from the east, you feel what I'm saying? Like, cause the, the perception of it is we don't fuck with each other. and. I did a tape with um, DJ Screen back in 2012, and he knew about it. He was like, yeah, man, I heard y'all up there in North Carolina. Y'all don't fuck with each other. And that's that's bad when you weigh in Atlanta and somebody got them know what's going on in North Carolina. Like, I know everybody trying to beat down a door and be the first one to do it, but it ain't no mar it's a marathon. It ain't no sprint. Just keep working, man. And I feel like if we unify this shit, and move strength and numbers, man. We just got them take over this shit. You feel me? Okay. Um, I heard you say something about Atlanta, man. Um, I heard you went down there for a little while, man. Yeah, so tell man. me, tell me about that situation. Man, it was it was like one of the worst situations of my life, honestly. Like, but I feel like God took me through it to humble me to make me the person I am today, man. I I left home and um all I had is eighty dollars to my name. Now you gotta mind me, it like. A month or two before this, I was up, up, like looking out for everybody, you know what I'm saying, making sure niggas was straight, this, that, and the third. And when I took my hit, you know what I'm saying, everybody pretty much turned their back on me, you feel me? So I just I just was like, I left, you know what I'm saying, my cousin Scotty, you know, he drove a truck. He dropped me off in Atlanta at a truck stop on Boulder Crest, you feel what I'm saying? All I had on all I had to my name is $80. That's why I believe in God so much, because God lined everything up for me to persevere through everything I was going through. You feel what I'm saying? And I know it wasn't me, you know what I'm saying? So I stayed down there for a year and a half, and 
I got back in like late 2016, but the shit affected me so much, I haven't even been back to Atlanta since. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I already know it's time to go back and I should have been, went back, but the struggle, man, was just like having to wake up, got them three hours before work just to get to work on time, catching the Uber, three trains, and a 40 minute bus. Then getting off on the bus. And walking got them 15 minutes just to get to work on time. You feel what I'm saying? And walking to work, walking back and forth to work. And ain't nothing I ever had to go through, man, in my life. But I already know, man, God will put me in a position to humble me, man. And I accepted it all. You feel me? I went through with it. Okay, okay. Well, you know, I'm going to get right down to it, man, what people, motherfuckers want to know, man. So, you got dissed out here by Nino Black. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, why didn't you respond? Well, man, like, I feel like I ain't never had no motherfucking problem with Nino Black. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't, I've always heard about the music he done, you feel what I'm saying? And I never listened to it, you feel what I'm saying? But I always knew he was like, oh, bro, I look up to you with your music and this, this, that, and the third. And which I felt like it was some flu gazy stunt type shit, you feel what I'm saying? Like, so I, I told my man to set up a call with us, you feel what I'm saying? And I was already ahead of time, you know what I'm saying? I recorded the call, you feel what I'm saying? That's why he, he made the um Officer Rise shit, you know what I'm saying? He he on the phone talking about, I feel we can bubble together and all this and all that. Well, I feel like it's a different way we can bubble together. Come fuck with me, you feel what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got to want to diss me or whoever was in your ear yapping about Boy Rise song popping. You need to goddamn make a diss about Rise just cause you dropped the mixtape and you felt like that was your way to get buzz and clout off me. I don't respect that shit. I'm a real street nigga. Like, I ain't fit to chase no clout. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't out here doing goofy shit to, to pop off. You feel what I'm saying? And that's just what it is cause the shit definitely could have went another way. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't knock what he tried to do, man. It's just corny to me and I like I respect what he got going on. I wish him the best, dog. But me giving that time for what? It ain't, it ain't shit I can, I can't gain nothing from dissing this man back. Just keep pushing, bro. It took me fucking all these years to get the, the response I'm getting off this record, bro. And you want to come at me now? When you just was at my, my producer house telling him how much you fuck with me and you look up to me trying to get beats that sound like mine and this, this, that, and the third. But anyway, wish him the best, dog. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. I don't... And everybody per picking sides and choosing sides. And, man, that shit was corny and cap. You know what I'm saying? Period. So, uh, so you think the you think the rap game is more entertainment now, or, or niggas really living what they rapping? Well, I always grew up in the era with my two oldest brothers, and I always listen to music being entertainment. Like music is like a movie. If you can paint the perfect picture, that's what it is. Like, how many people genuinely out here rapping their real life? You feel what I'm saying? Like, I remember Special Ed used to be like, I got a dog with a solid gold bone. And that shit used to be hype. Like, God damn, boy, that shit was hard as hell. You feel me? Now, goddamn, you say you got a solid gold bone. Motherfucker gonna be like, show me. I want to see the bone. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like, man, it's overrated and... It take away the dreamers aspect of it. Like, cause if you listen to my music, I didn't talk so much shit into existence. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I didn't spoke so much shit into existence through my music by manifestation. You feel what I'm saying? So being real with your music, man, has taken away the dreamers way of life. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you supposed to dream big and 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 drive Lambos and and do all that shit in your music, bro. Like that shit started with Jesus. You feel what I'm saying? And much love and respect to Jesus, but people feeling like they had to be real with this music and, and rap about what they really live or the money they really get, man. That's it's a trap. You feel what I'm saying, bro? It's it's entertainment. Just like movies. Like when a movie go off, guess what? Everybody's still living and, and so on and so on. Like, if you can go on stage and do twenty cartwheels and got them go viral, guess what? Do twenty cartwheels. This shit is entertainment, man. Like I don't even believe in anything being cap rap. I I just don't. Everybody in the line and they got damn rap. Everybody got damn cap rap. I don't give a fuck who you is. 
Period. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody in cap rap. So I don't even believe in cap rap. Like it's just a slogan. You feel what I'm saying? Like this shit is entertainment. If you can goddamn paint a picture and make motherfuckers like it the way they like it, that's just what it is, bro. It's music. It's entertainment. It fall under the entertainment category. This shit ain't shit real about this. You feel what I'm saying? But the real beef somebody can get with it within in the streets. Other than that, man, ain't shit real about this shit, man. Do what you do, man. Live your life, man, and stop being on that petty shit, man. You feel me? Yeah, and this, this ain't really your first time, like, with the beef thing. I know you and Rick Ruck had did some shit back in the day. Yeah, type yeah. Shit. That's when it was fun. You feel what I'm saying? That's when that's when it was fun. You feel me? And, and it's, it's now, it's to the point to where ain't, ain't shit came out of it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and you know, man, Rick Ruck, is a, that's my dude, man. I... Oh, he know I respect him to the highest level, bro. Like from everything he do, from rapping to graphics to anything he got going on, that man do it at the highest ability. You feel what I'm saying? And I respect everything he got going on, man. I'm just glad we got over our differences, moved on, and got them kept pressing forward. You feel me? Okay. Shout out to Rick Ruckus, man. Okay, anything you want to leave off with, man? Like, I mean, I just feel like, man, you know what I'm saying? Us as a whole in a city, you feel what I'm saying? We can we can make it happen, man. You know what I'm saying? But like I respect the grind throughout everybody. Like I ain't got no beef with no artists. You feel what I'm saying? Old, young, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I respect you, man. I respect what you got going on, man. And it's so many people I can name who doing their thing out here, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't even like when everybody be like, boy, name some artists that you, you fuck with in the city. I don't even like doing that because I fuck with everybody, bro. Everybody got they they slain. Everybody got their own lingo, everybody doing their thing, you feel what I'm saying? I respect your grind, dawg, like, and, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm an OG in this shit, so I, you know, I hear the old jokes, you know what I'm saying? But, shit, they got to goddamn know my money stacked like old folks, you feel what I'm saying? Like, Word. shout out to Jimmy Street, you know what I'm saying? I seen that boy post that shit as a status, like, yeah, I, I, I hear the old jokes, but my money stacked like old folks, so, like, I don't even care about none of that. One thing you can't stop is destiny. And, and and ain't no such thing as goddamn it ain't over till it's over. Time don't goddamn time ain't on nobody's side. You yes. feel what I'm saying? Yes. Period. So that's just all it is, man. Much love and respect to everybody doing their thing, everybody grinding, everybody got them shining, everybody working, everybody got them making music, all the rappers, all the producers, man. I love what y'all got going on. I love what y'all doing, man. Keep pressing, man. We gonna make this shit happen for the city. And for Carolina as a whole, you know what I'm saying? Y'all already know what I'm repping. SDE, Stat Dollars, the Empire, Southside Mafia shit. Out of the entertainment, man. Shout out to everybody supporting this shit, man. Love y'all.